Hello, this is Dynamics here bringing my first graphic design tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the program called GIMP, as you see there. First off, you want to create a new one with 640 by 400 pixels. I'm going to press cancel because I've already done that, but to bring up a new window, but you press OK. So I'm going to show you about these tools in the toolbox. The first one is the rectangle tool. They have four different modes and these are quite useful. You don't want to just leave them le like leave them so the first one just makes a selection. So if you want to select around another square or around an ob round a object or whatever. The second one it selects around two s squares or two selection another selection and makes one big selection. And the second one, I'm going to need to create a shape. Not on white, on black. So I say create that, and then this is important. Click alpha selection. Is he not doing it? Is it doing? Just a minute. Oops, too far. Right, so draw one. Click our selection. Don't know what it's doing, right? I'm just creating your layer. Right, I'll just draw it. Then press our selection, which now selects this shape I've drawn on the new layer. And to make a new layer, click that. To make a, the layer go down, click that. So you can't see it over the white layer, and to click it up. That duplicates it, and so it makes it just another one. So you can like move it. That I don't know what that does. That just deletes it. It's quite obvious, right? So back onto this. This like takes away the selection that's inside this box. So that used to be a selection there. So it just selects what's outside of the box. And the next one makes it does the exactly opposite. It selects from what's from selection to inside the box instead of outside the box. And the circle, the next one, the eclipse one, ellipse one even, not eclipse, does exactly the same, just in a different shape, like that. Let's go back. Right, so the lasso, t lasso tool, or the free select tool, does a similar thing to the the circle and the square one. So you can either just click on once where you want it to be, and then just click the second time where you want the second point corner or point to be, and the third, and then just a minute, I don't know what's happened there. Like like that, and you have to connect the last one up to the first one, and it makes a selection. And or you can hold down your mouse and drag, which makes a really that's a free select really like a drawing with pencil whatever. I don't know what that one does, fuzzy select tool. I guess it makes things fuzzy or whatever. Then this next one I'll just show you now. So say I draw a black scribble and then go on to that, that makes it so you can select another one. I select the red one, the bright red, and just draw another one. If I click on this and select the red one, I can just select all the 
red of the same colour on the same layer, I think. I'm not sure if it's on the same layer or just on all the pictures. And you can click on the black one, it's like that. But say if you want to have a darker red and you draw it, select off that. So if you draw a dark red, it won't select it as well as the other red because it's not the same shade. So let's delete them. The next one, I don't really know what that is, just so you can like delete stuff. And this, this one, I don't really know what that is. You can look at it for yourself. This one is quite a useful one if you want to like create a desktop background, which I probably will use. And but yeah, I don't know if it works on some PCs, but it doesn't. Well, all laptops. Cause I'm using a laptop, but it doesn't work on mine. You, for some reason, it's not like the free select tool that you can when the ends connect it, like does whatever. So you want to, if you want to make a curve, you press Control. Sorry. Um then just drag it which way you want it to be so up or down you can do sideways but that's not really not really look very good unless you want to make it like a 3d shape and so when that just without pressing it it does do that it's just not as just like gets the whole entire sh thing and pulls it so once you're finished happy with your shape, press enter and make the selection. So the next one is a colour picker. So if you just do that, then swap from red to white and then use the colour picker. You'll see that when I click on that it will select that I don't know um next one zooms in or you can zoom out by clicking that but an easier way is clicking control and clicking it so you can just so if you're on that and you want to zoom in click control and click it or the other way around this one I don't really know what that does. Something weird. And this next one is a move tool. Moves the whole layer. Make sure not select on that layer. Select that layer. I don't know what's doing. I don't know why it's because I'm not clicking on the red bit. There we go. Like you can sort of move it. Oops. There you go. Alright. Next one is the align tool. Save your say if you just got this is the text one, I'll just skip to this now. You can like or go into more detail after. So you can like and then you can then you can like type in whatever I was put in my there, so you type it in and say let me make this as small as it can go right say if you want this because you see it's not in the middle what you do you click on that and say if you want it to in exactly in the middle going in the middle that way so horizontally like you click this first one she does that the second one you click and to make it exactly in the middle you click that as well and if you want to make it side you can do that and stuff so this next one it still it crops I think you can yeah, you just crop into all so if you've got a picture and you say if this is something you don't want Oops. 
Yes, yeah, so here's the video on in the background. You can select onto it. 